Welcome. So in this video, what I'm going to do is I'll be showing you exactly how you hide an image within your blog post. Now, this is very useful for something like, say, Pinterest purposes. So um, I have my blog post here and I also have another image which I've created for it. And I want to hide this image within my blog post. So the first thing that I need to do is um, create a new page to host my image on. So I'm going to go back from my Squarespace blog into pages. And in my not linked section, I'm going to create a new page and I'll just name that page photos. And on this photo page, this is where I'm going to put my new Pinterest image that I want to have in my blog post. There we are. Okay, now I've got my new image, I'm going to apply and save. And I need to open this up in a new tab to get the URL for that image. So I'm going to go to page Brunton forward slash photos. That's the new page which I just created. And we'll see my image, my new Pinterest image is right there. So what I want to do is I'm on a Mac, so I'm hitting control and then clicking on my image. Um, I think if you're on a PC, you probably do right click, I'm assuming. Um, then copy image address. So this is going to get me the URL of the image. So that's what I want. So copy image address. And then I'm going to open up my code. So my code is right here. And if you're watching this on YouTube, I'm going to put a link to the blog post into the YouTube description. And that will take you over to the blog post, which then has this code, which you can copy and paste yourself. So the thing which I need to do is adjust the code slightly. So where it says image address goes here, delete that out. And we want to paste in the URL for our image. I do that again. It goes in twice. Now I want to copy the entire code and go back to my blog post. Blog. That was my top five blog post. Top five lessons I've learned building an online business. Okay, so I want to edit this post. Then I'm going to, you can honestly put the code wherever you want. I'm just going to put it at the bottom. So I'm going to insert a code block right here. Delete out this code, paste in my new code, hit apply and save. I need to open, actually, let me see what the URL for this blog post is. Here we go. Slash blog slash pull up my blog post. Now, when I hit my Pinterest pin it button, you will see the normal Pinterest image, which I have, which sort of fits with my blog. And then you'll also see the new Pinterest image, which I added to the blog post. But that, however, if you actually scroll through the blog post, you don't actually see that image anywhere within the post. It's just this bit of code down here, um, which is pulling up that um, Pinterest image. So once you go and click on your pin it button, it appears right there. So that is how you do that. If again, you're on YouTube and you want some more step-by-step -step instructions on that, um, there's a blog post sort of walking you through that in a bit more detail. So I hope that video was helpful to you.